Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Rootset. In the previous video of Robotics for Beginners series, I showed you what a robot is and told you how you can make a robot in your own home. If you are really interested in robotics and DIY hobby projects, make sure you check that out. That might be interesting for you. So after I published that video, many of my subscribers asked me if I could create a video for them about Arduino programming. So guys, in this video, I'll be explaining the basics of Arduino programming. I will try to make this as simple as possible so that everyone can understand this easily in a fun way. But first, I will give you a brief introduction of Arduino and electronics. While working with Arduino and electronics, there are mainly two components you should know about, input and output. Inputs are devices like sensors that can gather information from the environment and outputs are devices like motors, LCD displays which can give us an output. Usually what we do is, we gather input from the sensors, process it using logic circuits and get the response from output units. It's in the processing stage where we use Arduino boards that contain microcontroller. This is a typical Arduino board. Its name is Arduino Uno. You might be familiar with this board if you are into DIY electronics and hobby projects. Now, look at this board closely. You should be able to see black holes on either side of the board. These are known as headers. These headers are connected to GPIO pins of the microcontroller internally. GPIO stands for General Purpose Input Output. Using these headers, you will be able to connect various devices like sensors to the microcontroller via the GPIO pins without soldering. That is, using these headers, you should be able to pass on information from sensors to the microcontroller, process it, and pass the process information from microcontroller to the output devices. Do note that there are numbers for each pin on the Arduino board. For starting programming, the first thing you need is Arduino IDE. IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment. It is a free software. If you want to download it, I will leave the link in the description. Arduino IDE is kind of like a lightweight text editor. This text editor is where we write the code for our project, compile it and upload it to our board. This code that we write inside Arduino IDE is known as Arduino Sketch. It is also very easy to code an Arduino. The language is like a derivative of C++ and is very similar to it. The code is first compiled to a language which is readable by machines and is then uploaded to the board. So that's all the basics you need. We will now start coding. After this, make sure you attend this quiz and test your knowledge on Arduino. And I think it will be better if I explain with the help of this example. Now take a look at this code. This is the code for blinking an LED. It looks so simple, right? Because it is simple. Now what do you see in this code? There are mainly two blocks, right? Void setup and void loop. You will see these two blocks in all Arduino codes. The first block is void setup. This function will be executed first when the board is first powered on. And this function will be executed only once. When the board is powered on, what happens is this function will be run first and prepare the board for running the main commands which is written inside the loop function. And due to this reason, this block is known as preparation block. As you can see, in this example, there is only one line in this setup function. Just a minute ago, I told you there are numbers for each pin. For this example, LED is connected to pin 2 of this Arduino board. LED is an output device, right? So we are declaring pin 2 where we connect the LED as an output pin. That's all we need inside the setup function. Next we have loop function. From the name itself, you must have got the idea, right? All the codes inside this function will be repeated again and again. So this block is known as the execution block. All the codes that is required for continuous operation of Arduino boards like collecting input from sensors, processing it, all these segments are written inside this block. Here you can see four lines of code. The first line is digital write to high. This is for declaring the value of the digital output pin 2 to high. That means it will change the voltage of pin 2 to 5 volt. Now the LED is turned on. We want to keep this on for 1 second. So in the next line we write delay 1000. This is not 1000 seconds alright, it's 1000 millisecond. That is 1 second. 
so it will wait for one second before executing the next line. Digital write to low. That is exact opposite of the first line and it will change the state of pin 2 to low. That is 0 volt which will turn off the LED. Now we need this LED off for one second. So we go for the fourth line that is delay 1000. So all the four lines have been executed and it's finished right? Actually no. Like I said before, these four lines are inside the loop function. That means it will be repeated again and again. First the LED turns on, wait for one second, LED turns off, wait for one second and start from the beginning. So that's it guys, this is your first Arduino sketch. Now all you have to do is select the right port at the right port, click on compile and now the code will be converted to a language which Arduino board can understand and once the compilation is finished, click on upload. Once you have uploaded the code, you can power on the circuit. When the board is powered on, first the setup function will be executed and then the loop function will be executed again and again. That's it guys, now you can start writing your own code. If you need help on advanced Arduino coding, please let us know in the comments. If you guys need it, we will try to make a video for that too. Consider supporting our channel by giving this video a like and subscribe to our channel.